my name is Dan and for those of you who haven't been onto this channel before welcome have a look around there's plenty of videos and plenty of playlists for you to have a look at I hope you enjoy what you see well today is a different video to your reactions uh, videos I have decided to set myself a little bit of a challenge um, it's a challenge that has been long in the making it's been something that I wanted to do for the past year since I moved here to Scotland to Glasgow and I have decided that tomorrow is the day for me to do it. I have decided I'm going to go to Isle of Arran and I'm going to climb the highest peak on the Isle of Arran. It is called Goatfell and it sounds like it should be part of Middle Earth for some reason. It's just got that fantasy element to it. It is 874 metres high, which is 2,867 feet. Apparently it's one of the four corvettes on the island and yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, th this is something I've wanted to do since I moved to Scotland to climb the mountains, to explore this beautiful and vast land. And I can actually honestly say that I am about to begin what is going to be a very long series over the next couple of years. I have fallen in love with Scotland. I want to see more of this beautiful country. And there's so much hidden depth to this country and hidden history and hidden locations that I don't personally know about and places that I've wanted to visit, like the islands around Scotland, like um, Glencoe. I want to delve more into those environments. So this is going to be the start of a series of exploring Scotland. And I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy the further videos to come. But that being said, I have just booked my ticket for um, Isle of Arran tomorrow. I'm getting up very early, getting the ferry over there, and I really cannot wait. So what I'm going to do now, we are going to go together to the train station so I can collect that ticket. Let's go. So I've got all the tickets um, to Brodick and obviously I'll be taking the ferry as well so I'm really excited. I've never done anything like this before. Um, well on this magnitude obviously I've filmed a few places around Glasgow and stuff like that but never done anything like this before so this is all fun. It's all fun and games. It's something new. That's my walking boots done, that's my coat put in the bag tomorrow in case it rains, which weather forecast on Goatfell doesn't look as if it's going to rain, it looks like it's going to be a nice and sunny day. Fingers crossed that is the case. No matter what though, my mission is to reach the top of Goatfell for myself, and also for this video, but for myself. So this is something new I've done, and I'm videoing it, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, my bag's all packed and I'm up early tomorrow at six o'clock, um, yeah. So it's now 10 to midnight and um, my bag is all packed for um, Isle of Arran, Goatfell. And I'm gonna be honest, my thoughts, I'm excited but slightly nervous. Um, I've not done anything like this before. Usually, when I go with people, when I go and do something like this, um, 
like climbing massive hills or mountains I'm with people um, so this is this is something completely new because I'm, I'm going on my own um, but I'm doing it because one I want to make a great video but more importantly I'm doing this for me because just to show myself no one else but to show myself that I can do something like that I know that sounds a bit prideful it's not meant to um, it's uh, kind of I guess you could say it's been on a bucket list of mine that I have wanted to climb a mountain on my own you know like go on an adventure and I mean I'm picking one of the probably the best adventures really if you think about it I'm going on a train then a ferry then I'm climbing a mountain I mean I'm crossing the ocean to climb a mountain that doesn't get any more adventurous than that you know and the more I'm talking about it I actually feel quite excited about it um, you're probably watching thinking I've lost losing my mind getting excited about this but I'm excited you know so yeah I'm going to be waking up at 6am tomorrow morning and I will see you then. I will give you my initial thoughts then because I'm going to be honest, this idea, it came to me just today. So, you know, this happened just today. So this is spontaneous. So yeah, good night. <laughs> Right, looking for, I'm supposed to be on platform nine. Um, There we go. And Dawson Harbour. Um, and I've looked and it's platform nine. Um, woke up a bit late, so. But yeah, it's still fun and games. So I'll make my way over to platform nine.
in Brodick. Um, don't know how to get to the footpath of Goatfell but I can see the mountain in the distance. It's looking mysterious, amazing. Um, so I'm either going to see if there's a bus or I'm just going to walk it but I've been told it's like a two hour walk. So this is going to be interesting. This is not planned at all. This is well and truly an adventure. There is where I'm heading. <sighs> Never done anything like this before. Probably going to be exhausted afterwards, but my goodness me, I mean, look at that. It's like I'm in Middle Earth. It's exactly how I feel. <sighs> feeling the adrenaline, feeling excitement. This, it's amazing.
gosh, I just, I'm just blown away, guys. I just don't, I actually don't have the words. This is truly incredible. Truly stunning and incredible. I apologise for the footage to be in bits. Um, forgot my SD card at home. But it's given me more reason to give me more reason to come back, you know, and explore because this has got unlimited possibilities. I mean, who needs New Zealand when you've got places like this? It's mad. Never been to a beach with the sand. It's so soft and clean. This is incredible. And there's the castle over there. And as you can see through the trees over there, sorry for the shaky camera, that's the mountain. Oh yes. Brief pit stop, just had a sandwich got from co-op. Um, but I have now reached the actual official pass to goat fell um my back is sweating like no one's business but i a walk which i said was a long walk wasn't really a long walk for me um maybe it's because i was pushing the time but basically yeah i'm at the beginning of the long journey up to the summit very excited about it i've got plenty of water i've got iron brew to keep my energy up i've got crisps as well to keep my energy up <coughs> hope I'm all prepared but yeah here we go let's go obviously I can't take too many shots because I left my SD card but I will be back what weather this is I don't even think I've made it that far, but I'm exhausted already. Maybe it's because I rushed along the beach and wrestled with the sand. It might be that, but... I'm exhausted. I'm just catching my breath, but right now I'm sitting in a really nice wooded area. It's peaceful, it's quiet, apart from the birds. It's lovely. And take a shot, a couple of shots for you. <laughs> the gap I just jumped over. That is a big gap. There's a couple over there as well. But look, it just goes down, downwards. I'm quite high up. I'm, I'm persevering. The mountain seems to be getting closer. Um, <laughs> I say getting closer. I don't know if that's an illusion or not. Just climbing up these. Uh. This is awful. But slightly invigorating as well. I will be feeling this tomorrow. Ah, almost fell over. Great. Time to put camera away. Also, while I'm here, far I'm exhausted but I'm looking right at the mountain now it seems so close and I'm not a quitter so I'm gonna keep going but also I do I am standing and I have got this incredible view of the island I mean there's the mountain and I may be exhausted but I don't want to give up it's quite close 
but also I do have this incredible view which I'm proud of reaching this far. I really am. Never done anything like this before on my own. This is something new. I made it onto a bridge, you can hear the river running and on the climb up it was absolutely boiling hot, it was roasting, I'm sweating, my back is covered in just sweat but I'm feeling breeze, a nice cool breeze and it, it's revigorating me, it, oh sorry I'm shaking, it feels amazing and yeah I'm ready to go again, oh man that, was, that just feels gorgeous. I had to take a footage of this look there's the stream this is what I've got to step over that is very deep I mean look I'm gonna step over it that's a long way down it's like a shrine or something I honestly I'm in awe of this place this is just I feel like I'm in Narnia or Middle Earth Honestly, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, but also I feel alive and exhilarated. Just gonna film a bit of the way up. But this, truthfully, is just, it's an experience. Don't think I've no, I haven't ever done this before, especially on my own. Just had um, crisps and an iron brew. Energize me. Sugar levels are up. I mean, oh shit! I just oh, fell over then. But yeah, I mean, look at that. that just I just can't it's incredible it's amazing unfortunately guys I'm not gonna make it up there I'm gonna push a bit further but time's running short but I will be back very soon to complete this just huh. <laughs> I'm just amazed well guys that was a crazy walk um, didn't make it to the top I kind of feel gutted but I don't because it set another challenge for me to do to reach the top and in all honesty I forgot my SD card so maybe this was a trial run to see if I can do it which I can um, so the things you're gonna see are the highlights sorry for the shaky camera I'm actually walking um, but yeah guys honestly this was it was an adventure um, I'm proud I'm quite proud of myself not in a prideful way, just that I've done this on my own, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, now it's time for me to 
have some food, get back onto the ferry, get home and get into bed.